Okay, I'm going to decoupage today. This is going to be my first time experience doing it. I'm very excited and happy. I have been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, learning the technique. Let's see how it comes out. So I have gathered all my uh, materials over here. I have the decoupage uh, tissue napkin, the mason jar and the paint and the mod podge and the, uh, you know, jute rope to be used later on. I have all my paint brushes around and my paints. So I'll paint the jar first with the uh, glue, you know, I have glue. I want to have a crackle look on the jar and then paint it with the um, this red paint, uh, reddish uh, color I, have, I got from Home Depot. So I'll let you know how it goes. I'm painting the jar with glue. And before it dries out, I'll paint uh, on top of the glue. The jar is painted uh, with the glue. Now I'm going to start painting it with this pretty uh, rose red on top of the glue. I'll show you once it's all done. And just apply the first layer of Mod Podge on the napkin. Let's see how it's going to turn out after drying it. Mm, I'm not very happy with the results, so I'm going to redo it uh, try with a different base color and a different napkin because, because this was not an actual decoupage napkin I couldn't remove the you know the underlining from the uh, from the napkin so it's kind of thicker you know it's giving a thicker look uh, it's sitting on top of the bottle uh, instead of blending into the uh, surface you know so I will uh, try with a different napkin and with the different base color and I'll show you the result uh, it was easy to peel off all the paper from the bottle so it's ready for a second uh, trial <laughs> it's a learning process I just want to go through uh, the trial and error um, phase and learn the right procedure you know how to march barge on bottles a professional way I repainted the bottle with the white base this time and I was able to remove the uh, paper lining underneath the tissue paper so there was a technique to do that and I was able to remove it easily and then I applied the thinner uh, napkin on the jar with decoupage uh, with the decoupage glue Mod Podge and I'm letting it dry now so hopefully we'll have uh, better results this time. I'm trying to have this effect of crackle bottle. So I applied uh, the glue, uh, a semi-thick layer of glue, Elmer's glue on the bottle and then I applied immediately after applying the glue, I applied the paint on top of it, a thin layer of paint and put it right in front of some uh, drying, uh, uh, you know, tool like a hair dryer or the fan. So I put it in front of the fan and I'm getting the crackle effect. I'm so excited, it's working.
decoupaging on the tin can also and this rock I found outside so let's see how they come out and uh, I'm just uh, trying on different surfaces just to get an idea how they look when they're done so it's my learning stage of decoupaging you know drawing on different surfaces and items